So my name is Stefan Brandt. I work uh, for EOX based in Vienna, Austria. Uh, a very warm welcome to my presentation, GeoInfographics created dynamically from PostGIS using the function ST SSVG. Um, we are building a web app for agriculture and we have all the agricultural parcels in a map widget. Um, and so the authority staff from a member state of the European Union also collects in situ data and we wanted to visualize this data uh, um, to um, the agricultural parcels. But we thought it would be overwhelming to put all the information in the web map widget itself because it can be information that only covers part of the agricultural parcel. So uh, we wanted to display this information in a tabular format and we found the function STSSVG of PostGIS to um, send the geometries to the front end um, as SVG, uh, in SVG format. And the advantage is that we don't need any additional mapping library inside the browser because SVG is natively supported by the browser. There's no extra JavaScript involved. Um, I want to shortly show how SVG looks. Um, the Mozilla Developer Network, MDN, says that SVG is to graphics what HTML is to text. And as you can see, it looks very similar to a web page. It's an XML-based format. And um, the SVG tag has some children, which are the geometries, for example, a circle or a rectangle or a more complex path, which we use for the geometries that are exported from PostJS. And one particularity is the viewbox attribute, which defines which part of the uh, SVG is actually visible. So it defines where to zoom to in the coordinate system. And I will now show um, the iterative process <laughs> it took to get it correct. So um, this is something that might be, or that will be familiar to you. And um, uh, on the left side, there is the uh, whole world and the inter iterative approach to actually get it on the same canvas. And on the right side, uh, I zoomed to Europe. And when you look on the top, there is the min x, which is minus 10, which, okay, we can find out easily because that's the border of, of Ireland. But then the min y is minus 70. You would assume that the lower left corner is 35 because that's the lower border of, of Europe, but um, SVG has its y-axis flipped, so you have to go to the upper corner and take the, the, the negative, so minus 70. I put all of this together uh, in a um, GitHub repository to generalize the idea so that you can go to GitHub, um, clone the repository and fire up a, a web app which is based on um, the, on a PostGIS database and a Python web app with SQL model and a fa fast API interface and the Jinja template, it's very basic and um, I wanted to generalize it so that you can uh, go there, uh, have a look at it and maybe use it for, a, for your own project and I hope it is helpful to you. Thank you for your interest.